born in Houston, Texas. Uh, my dad was born in Baghdad. My mom was born in Nablus. They met at the University of Houston and they stayed in the States. I am currently in Austin, Texas, uh, where I went to undergrad and I am working on a show, The Magic Flute. I am singing Pamina, the princess, uh, the daughter of the queen of the night, who is naughty and spicy. And I'm innocent at least in this show. <laughs> I got interested in opera. Um, I went to a, a Catholic girls' school um, in Houston, St. Agnes Academy, and um, one of the only classes, this is so embarrassing to admit, but one of the only classes that was co-ed was uh, chorus. So I was fascinated with, you know, you know, boys, just like every other girl. Um, and so I decided to take chorus. I fell in love with it and had the most amazing teacher that inspired me to, to communicate through music, communicate everything, uh, nuance. Uh, he even made us sing like, I mean, it was quite uh, unorthodox at the time, but like smoke out of a cigarette. Like he would make us sing that kind of a phrase, you know, just for fun, you know. My dad was already, you know, starting to get worried again, like, Hanan, are you sure you want to continue doing this? Is this really what you're going to do? And I said, look, here's my plan. I'm going to apply to the three best schools, and if, if I get accepted, then it's a sign for me to go. Is that a good enough plan for you? And he's like, okay, we'll see, we'll see. So, um... I applied to the three schools. Mom went with me to all three auditions. And I, I got into two of them. Um, and I got a scholarship to Juilliard. And so I went to Juilliard for my master's. And then I was there in New York for the next 12 years. You have to do lots of exercises to stretch and make sure it's relaxed. And I mean, at least my teachers taught, taught us that. So it's very important. There's so many parts about opera that I love to step into someone else's cultural background and just explore is so, I mean, it's, it's so gratifying. And opera, when you're on the stage, when you're in character, when you've, when you've developed a character and you've built specificity around this character and you've, you've studied what that person would do in the morning, you've studied what they do at night, you're, you're living somebody else's life and um, you feel, I feel more alive in that moment than I, than I do in any other way and to do it with an orchestra. I mean, 50 or more people, just all working together, this breathing, um, more than 50 people, like this huge living organism. It's, it's like so many people are making one thing happen and it's so exciting. Live theater, live opera, this is fantastic.